the proper way to address the Governor General is Her Excellency. Except most people here don't know how to translate that to a nuktat to it. Besides, most people here call her just Mary. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Simon was the recipient of a hero's welcome from friends and family. I married her brother, Johnny May. Mary was uh, my very best friend as we were growing up. And when me, I never expected she would come up that high, but she did. I'm so proud of her. Yeah, and we miss her though. Rangers, order on! There was also some pomp and circumstance, northern style, with the Canadian Rangers serving as a guard of honor. Earlier in the day, Simon met with Nunavik leaders. It's really great to, uh, to be here. Uh, I can remember, I, I always tell Wit that I don't get excited hardly ever. I just, I'm a quarter of an even keel. But uh, when we were about to land here yesterday, uh, I was thinking of my uh, early childhood when I was a young teenager, especially after we were at the camp on, on the George River. We would be for coming here and we would be so excited we were almost squealing. So I kind of felt like that yesterday. <laughs> Pita Atami is the president of the Makovic Corporation, the body that represents Nunavik's interests. Atami used the occasion to speak on how Quebec is holding up Inuit self-determination. Being in Quebec, we have had issues. We're still hoping that Quebec will name a negotiator to the self-determination file. Canada is on board. Simon says she recently met with Quebec Premier Francois Legault, and he not only promised to appoint a negotiator, but to build a much-needed hospital in Nunavik. The hospital where they can actually do surgery, because right now everybody has to be shipped out for any emergency <clears throat> major operation. Simon's visit will also include stops in Kangasujuak, Kangasujuak, and Nugjuak before ending on Friday. Tom Fenario, APTN National News, Kujuak, Quebec.